Hey, Jason here from Theme Punch, and welcome to part four of the Responsive series. So today we're going to talk about navigation, and I've set up a slider here with five slides and some thumbnails here at the bottom. Now, if you remember from part one, we activated the custom layers grid sizes right down here in the slide layout. So I left them activated, and let's go ahead and resize the slider and as the slider resizes, we'll see those custom layers grids take shape. And we can also take a look at what happens to our thumbnails here. So I'm just going to resize down. And we should hit our first break point and hit that notebook view. And now we should hit the tablet view. And right around the tablet view, you can see that our thumbnails here at the bottom start to get cut off toward the right. So one of the first things that we can do for this is if we head over to the slider settings and inside the navigation head over to where I've activated the thumbnails. We scroll down to thumbnail container size. Right now the min container width is set to the same number as the container width. Let's change this to 125 and what this will do is it will activate some responsive behavior for the individual thumbnails themselves. So let's save that and then reload the page here. And now we can see the thumbnails are fitting much better for the tablet view. So if we just continue to resize down here, we can see that it's still not small enough. And so once we get down to mobile view here for the smartphone, we've got a, maybe some thumbnails here off to the right. And technically we could head over and resize this down to maybe 70. And we could fit them all in that way. But as you can see, these are actually quite small. So the navigation actually has some special options where we can choose to hide any of the navigation options here. Arrows, bullets, tabs, and thumbnails. We can hide them below a certain screen size or we can show them above a certain screen size. So for the thumbnails here, let's scroll down to these options. And they're found right down here under visibility. Let's choose to maybe hide this under width. So we'll turn that on. And then let's go ahead and enter 480. Now I'm going to choose 480 because that's actually our breakpoint here for the smartphone custom grid size. And if you remember from part one, the breakpoint is set in the global settings for the plugin. right in here default settings for advanced responsive grid size so if you haven't checked out part one definitely go and do that because it covers these breakpoints and how they relate to the custom grid sizes down here so I'm going to use this number 480 and we're going to hide the thumbnails under 480 pixels of a screen size and then let's set up to bullets. And for the bullets, let's see, for the bullet style, let's choose perms. And then for the visibility, let's go ahead and hide this over width of 480. So the logic here is when the screen size hits 480 or below, the thumbnails will hide and the bullets will show and then vice versa. And so let's go ahead and scroll up and as we reach that number 480, those bullets will disappear and there we go with our thumbnails. So our thumbnails are pretty small there and if you remember we had set the min size to 70 just to test that on the smartphone view. And they start to get better as we head into the tablet and notebook view and desktop view. 
but let's just experiment using a third navigation option. So let's head over to our slider settings again. Let's go ahead and enable arrows. And so for the arrows, maybe let's show them above 480 and below 768. So let's see what we have for an arrow style. Dion, that's pretty good. So then under the visibility tab, for hide under, let's enter 480. And for hide over, let's enter 768. And then for the thumbnails, visibility, let's hide under 768. And then for the bullets, hide over 480 is still good. So the logic here is we'll have bullets up until 480 pixels. Then we'll have arrows between 480 and 768. And then once we reach that 768 number, we will have thumbnails. So let's save this and test it out. Okay, so if we start off from desktop view and we just start resizing. And the tool I'm using here, by the way, is Firefox Tools Web Developer Responsive Design Mode. So let's just head down and watch for that 768 number. Okay, we're down to 775, and now we have our arrows. So let's go ahead and resize down some more, and now we have our bullets. So this is just a really cool way of toggling between the different navigation options for your slider revolutions to set them up for great usability for a wide range of devices. So thanks for watching.